Hello and welcome back to uh, Introduction to Astronomy. So in our previous segment we were talking about what the moment of inertia means and what it depends on. Okay, now we're going to incorporate that moment of inertia and the concept of torque and the concept of acceleration. We're going to put those three things together and we're going to come up with one of Newton's laws of motion. So, so far we have talked about linear distance, linear speed, linear acceleration, linear force, and linear momentum. Okay, now we've talked about what rotational speed is and rotational acceleration. So now we want to talk about rotational force. And another name for rotational force is going to be torque. So his first law of motion for things that are spinning says that every object that is spinning at a certain speed will continue to want to spin at that certain speed forever and ever. But there's something in addition. So when it was something that was moving in a straight line, it would want to continue to move in a straight line. What would it be for something that is rotating? Okay, so here's our wheel and I can spin the wheel. So there's the rotational speed, okay? Now what would be the equivalent to the direction that something moves in a straight line? Well, that would be the axis. So you see this wheel has an axis. So his first law of motion says that if an object is spinning, it will want to continue to spin forever and ever at a constant speed, and the axis will want to point in one direction forever and ever. Now you can prove that with this wheel. So I know it's really hard for you to see this or to uh, feel it, but if I move this thing like this and then I take my hands and I try to move the axis, what I find is it's really hard to move the wheel. So once the wheel is moving, it's hard to change the direction that the wheel is spinning. So that's his first law of motion. An object wants to continue to spin forever and ever at a constant speed and the axis does not want to change. Now, let's write his second law of motion. So his second law of motion is equivalent to force equals ma. So when we talked about linear motion, forces caused objects to accelerate in a straight line. So what would be the counterpart to it if something's rotating? Okay, torque is the counterpart to force. So torque causes things to spin. Forces cause things to go in a straight line. Okay, instead of M, we learned it's I, the moment of inertia of the object. And then instead of the letter A, it's alpha. So that's the angular acceleration. This is the moment of inertia, and then this is the torque. And so this would be Newton's second law of motion. Torques cause objects to accelerate when they rotate. Then you got the third law of motion. So the original Newton's third law of motion said that for every force, there's an equal and opposite counter force that goes with it. So if the so for every action, that's the original force, there's an equal and opposite reaction force that goes with it. So this would say that when you apply a torque, like the ketchup bottle, the ketchup bottle applies a torque back on you. And this has a really interesting application when it comes to helicopters. So the engine on a helicopter 
provides a torque that causes the blade to go around in a certain direction. But according to Newton's third law, the blade must be applying a torque on the helicopter in the opposite direction. So, at, so the helicopter is providing a torque on the blade, making it go around. The blade will apply a torque on the helicopter. So uh, if there was nothing stopping it, a helicopter would spin in the opposite direction that the blades would be going around in. So what is it that stops that from happening? Helicopters have tail rotors, and that tail rotor provides a counter torque that keeps the helicopter from spinning in the opposite direction. Now what happens if that tail rotor gets hit, though, if it stops working? So there's a really good movie called Black Hawk Down. And in that movie, a Black Hawk, a helicopter, gets hit by a missile in its tail rotor. And then you see that the helicopter begins to spin out of control and then it crashes. So if you, uh, it's worthwhile getting on the internet, typing in Black Hawk Down, helicopter crashing, and just watch the little video clip of that to see that a helicopter really will spin in the opposite direction. Okay, in our next segment, we're going to talk about momentum when something is going around in circles.